Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to another episode of Jash Reads. Tonight we're continuing on reading Chapter 4 from Mockingjay by Susan Collins. The animals here are not nearly suspicious enough. That extra moment it takes to place our unfamiliar scent means their death. In an hour and a half, we've got a mixed dozen. Rabbits, squirrels, and turkeys, and decide to knock off to spend the remaining time by a pond that must be fed by an underground spring, since the water's cool and sweet. When Gale offers to clean the game, I, I don't object. I stick a few mint leaves on my tongue, close my eyes, and lean back against a rock, soaking in the sounds, letting the scorching afternoon sun burn my skin, almost at peace, until Gale's voice interrupts me. Katniss, why do you care so much about your prep team? I open my eyes to see if he's joking, but he's frowning down at the rabbit he's skinning. Why shouldn't I? Hmm. Let's see. Because they spent the last year putting you up for slaughter? He suggests. It's more complicated than that. I know them. They're not evil or cruel. They're not even smart. Hurting them, it's like hurting children. They don't see, I mean, they don't know. I got knotted up in my words. They don't know what Katniss, he says, that tributes who are the actual children involved here, not your trio of Freaks are forced to fight to the death that you were going into that arena for people's amusement? Was that a big secret in the capital? No, but they don't view it the way we do, I say. They're raised on it, and are you actually defending them? He slips the skin from the rabbit in one quick move. That stings, because, in fact, I am. And it's ridiculous. I struggle to find a logical position. I guess I'm defending anyone who's treated like that for taking a slice of bread. Maybe it reminds me too much of what happened to you over a turkey. Still, he's right. It does seem strange. My level of concern over the prep team. I should hate them and want to see them strung up. But they're so clueless, and they belong to Cinna. And he was on my side. Right? I'm not looking for a fight, Gail says. But I don't think Coin was sending you some fake message by punishing them for breaking the rules here. She probably thought you'd see it as a favor. He stuffs the rabbit in the sack and rises. We better get going if we want to make it back on time. I ignore his offer of a hand up and get to my feet unsteadily. Fine. Neither of us talks on the way back, but once we're inside the gate, I think of something else. Turning the quarter quell, 
Octavia and Flavius had to quit because they couldn't stop crying over me going back in. And Venia could barely say goodbye. I'll try and keep that in mind as they remake you, says Gail. Do, I say. And that's the end for tonight. Oh God, I, like this is one of the chapters, well, not chapters, but one of the parts that I'm like, I could have stopped and done it about five or ten times before getting it perfect. It's just, God damn, <laughs> like I could have done this so much better. It's like so, I write, and it's like. Sometimes I write something and I keep on second-guessing myself, and that's really why I don't like to go in, back and edit my shit, because I will start second-guessing everything, like I am doing obsessively now. Come on. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not looking for... God damn, some of the transitions and voices. Hi. <laughs> I probably put a lot more thought into the, these dramatic readings than you probably think by watching them. <laughs> I'm like, oh, she just does whatever. Sometimes that's just not true. <laughs> but anyways, again, if you're going to comment down in the comment section below, no spoilers, um, you know, for later on in the book. But if you want to spoil all of the Hunger Games and Catching Fire, that is fine. This is the third book in the trilogy. So it's like, you shouldn't know what happens in the first two. You shouldn't start at the third book and then going, oh my god, there's spoilers for the other two. Okay, let me see. Nice spell, Saki. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this really makes me seem like I'm a fucking alcoholic when I tend to only drink socially. Like, if I'm offered a glass of wine, I'll, I'll drink it. If there's, like, a social gathering, I'll drink. I'm mainly a social drinker. I mean, every now and again, maybe I'll drink a, one beer that will, like, one can of beer that will last, like, three or four hours. <laughs> Just in case none of you are wondering this shit. Oh, if you have been watching these dramatic readings and have been like, Oh, Mockingjay seems like a cool book. I want a copy of my own. Or maybe you're like, I can't wait to see what happens next. I don't want to wait until Jashikins gets another video out. Or if you just want to read the book without my interpretation and... Yes, I am just reading words off a page, but I'm choosing stuff like, you know, inflections. How long do I want to pause? What tone? And I'm not the greatest, you know, actress around, but I do put thoughts into how I want a character to emote. And if you, so if for any of those reasons or any other thousands of reasons you want to buy a copy, and you also want to help support me, okay, you will not fall. <laughs> if you're watching on the YouTubes, link to get a copy of the book is in the description, and if you're watching on my bloggity blog, there's an ad at the very bottom of the post, so woot! And here comes the part of the episode where I take a shot of sake, and since I don't have a sake, not a sake, <laughs> since I don't have a shot glass, I just drink a random amount. And if you want to join in, if you also want to do that method, go ahead, and or if you want to take an actual shot, that's okay. So, you know, choose, like, your favorite alcohol or your, or the closest to you. And if you don't Drink for whatever reason, drink alcohol for whatever reason. You can still do the same thing with st stuff like water, hot chocolate, milk, whatever. And 
I just I can't wait after I'm done like filming this I'm gonna start on the next episode of Game of Thrones and catching up from last season. So yeah. So um uh, here's a cheers to Game of Thrones. And I probably will not be reading those books for one of my dramatic readings, just because they're so long. <laughs> Maybe I'll... I don't know, I want to do a lot of dramatic readings. I mean, I want to get through the whole Anne Wars books. And I have other series I want to get through, too. And I'm thinking of the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. I hope they don't fuck the movie up. Holy shit, if they do. I probably will stop doing dramatic readings and all my other blog work for a while because it's like. And until next video.